What's going on? In this video, I'm going to compare two of Canon's most popular 50 millimeter lenses, the Canon FD 50 millimeter F1.4 vintage lens and the Canon EF 50 millimeter F1.8 STM lens. So the Canon EF lens is Canon's most recent EF 50mm f1.8. And of course, the FD lens is Canon's vintage FD mount lens. And the FD lens is Canon's 50mm f1.4, which is nowadays at least Canon's most popular 50mm Canon FD lens. And so this isn't gonna be a review of these lenses. I'm not gonna go super in depth on them because they're pretty basic lenses. However, I am gonna talk about the differences between these two and why I would choose each specific one for different scenarios. Now also right off the bat, both these lenses are in pretty similar price points. There is also a Canon FD 50mm f1.8, which would technically be the more standard replacement for the Canon EF. However, the FD 50mm f1.4 is pretty much the same price range as the EF 1.8, and the FD f1.8 is a much cheaper lens. It's pretty much half the price of these two. So that's kind of the reasoning behind comparing the f1.4 versus the f1.8, rather than the f1.8 versus f1.8. Without further ado, I'm gonna get into some of the pros that each of these lenses have and what they do best versus the other one. And then, like I said, talk about the differences between these and which one I'd recommend. So first of all, the Canon FD 50mm f1.4. So like I've stated a few times, this is a vintage lens. So this came out in, I believe either the late 70s or somewhere in the 80s. So this lens is about 40 years old at this point, which means overall, you know, the glass element, the technology they had back then isn't as good as modern lenses, which means it's gonna have a lot of vintage characteristics, like maybe a little bit less sharp than modern lenses. It doesn't have as advanced coatings as modern lenses, so it's gonna allow for more flaring than the EF 50 millimeter lens. And overall, this lens will just offer a lot more unique vintage characteristics to it, how the bokeh looks, and pretty much everything about this lens, it kind of just gives off that vintage feel that pretty much all vintage lenses kind of have to them and something that's really unique to old lenses like this. And of course, it's an f1.4 lens, so it is a faster f-stop than the EF version, so it's gonna let in more light, and hypothetically should be better in low light, as well as provide a shallower depth of field, which will separate your foreground from the background a little bit more than the f1.8. However, going from f1.4 to f1.8 is not gonna be very substantial, and quite honestly, I don't know if it'll really be noticeable in any situations. However, it still technically is a faster lens. And then another thing the FD lens does a lot better than the EF version is the build quality. This lens is built like a tank. It's pretty much fully made out of metal. Everything about it just feels amazing. It's pretty heavy and dense for its size as well. And in general, the build quality on the FD lens is amazing. Of course, versus the really plasticky build quality of the EF version, there's really like no metal on this, honestly, besides the lens mount in the back here. Everything else about this is pretty much fully made out of plastic. It feels like if you dropped it from a pretty short distance, it would just crack and break. Well, this one, it pretty much feels like it's built like a tank. So those are the main things that the Canon FD lens does better than the EF lens. Now let's move on to what the Canon EF lens does better. So pretty much the biggest thing here is the Canon EF 50 millimeter lens has autofocus and electronic aperture and just pretty much has electronics built in while the Canon FD version doesn't have any sort of electronics. So you have manual aperture, manual focus, everything's manual with this lens. Throughout everything with these lenses, that's gonna be the difference that could be a deal breaker for you if you need autofocus with your lens and you don't want to worry about manual focusing. Now also, I know we talked about build quality. However, the Canon EF lens, because it has a lower build quality, it's made out of plastic, it is a lot smaller and lighter than the Canon FD version, which probably isn't going to be a deal breaker for you. However, it might be something to factor in depending on what type of kit you're trying to put together and if you really want to keep it under a certain weight. And then also, the Canon EF lens has a better close focus distance, so you can get a lot closer to your subject while keeping it in focus. Neither of these are anywhere near macro level. However, if you do want to get really close up shots of things, the Canon EF lens will be a better option. Now those are pretty much the main differences between these. Like I said, they're very similar to lenses. There's just kind of a few major differences between them. Autofocus being the biggest difference between these and the biggest thing that could be a deal breaker. However, also like we talked about, you know, the build quality of the FD is a lot better and it gives you that vintage feel that a lot of people love. However, if you do want that more pristine, um, modern looking feel to your images. Of course, the EF version will be a better option for you. But both of these lenses cover full frame, so you can use any sort of full frame, micro four thirds, APS-C sensors, pretty much any size all the way up to full frame you can use with both of these. Both of them extend wall focusing, 
Um, so they're not gonna stay the same length. They're gonna kind of, you know, extend out when you're focusing. And both of these can be easily adapted to pretty much any mirrorless camera. However, they are different mounts. This is the FD mount versus the EF mount. So slightly different mounts, but they can both pretty much be very easily adapted to any mirrorless cameras with just a simple adapter from Amazon. I guess one thing to notice there is if you do want the EF adapter with electronics, you can get autofocus and everything like that. It's gonna cost more than any sort of FD adapter will. So definitely keep that in mind when you're thinking about cost for these. The adapter for the EF with electronics is gonna cost a little bit more, but that is really the majority of the differences between these. Everything else is very similar. Sharpness is pretty much gonna be negligible with these lenses. Neither of them are insanely tack sharp like a Canon FDL lens or like a Sigma art lens would be. You know, of course, they're both lower budget lenses at around the $100 or even $80 mark. So you really can't expect $1,000 Canon FDL lens performance out of these. So they're not gonna be perfectly sharp. They're gonna have chromatic aberration issues. However, you can still, and I have personally gotten amazing looking photos with both of these lenses. And if your price point's around the 80 to $100 price point, both these will be great options for you. So last but not least, I wanna get into which one I would recommend. So of course, there isn't one answer for everybody. It's gonna be based on your situation. However, I do think if you're just getting into photography, you just need a lens to take portraits with pictures of people or walk around and do street photography or anything like that. You just want a second lens, maybe an upgrade from your kit lens and you're just getting into it. You're just kind of getting started. This is maybe your first prime lens. I would recommend just going with the EF lens. It's gonna have autofocus. It's gonna be the easiest to use and by far the smallest learning curve out of these two lenses. However, if you're a more experienced photographer or videographer and you're looking for something with more of a tactile feel you wanna shoot manual focus, and you're not worried about having any sort of electronics in the lens. Or if you want to get more of a vintage look or more of a unique look with your images or videos, definitely the Canon FD 50mm lens is the way to go. Personally, I use this lens a lot more than the Canon EF version because I just love the images this produces. That slightly vintage look that comes out of this lens is just amazing in my opinion. So if you wanna be a little bit more experimental, definitely, definitely look into the Canon FD 50mm f1.4. But that pretty much wraps this video. Up. Like I said, neither one is going to be the perfect choice for everybody. It's pretty much independently based on what you want to do with the lens and what type of photographer you are. But both of these lenses are awesome options. And if you wanted to, I'd even recommend picking up both of them just so you can choose between whichever one for whatever photo shoot or video shoot you're going on that day. But that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Go down to the like button and subscribe to this channel as well as check out my other channel, which I'll link in the description. And I will see you in the next video.